What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I'm back again with another video. So the streets is talking, and y'all already know what I'm finna say. So last night during the Oscars, Melissa McCarthy and Holly themselves, they did premiere the new trailer of The Little Mermaid. I did watch it, and I thought that the trailer was amazing from beginning to end. At the beginning of the trailer, it shows the... The boat crash with Eric and how he basically got thrown off the boat when the boat did collapse and it shows Ariel saving him and bringing him back to shore and then of course her going back and her getting caught by her dad and everything and then y'all y'all know how the story goes but anyways they stuck to the story it's still the same story the only difference is of course that they race swapped Ariel which again I really don't understand the backlash behind that you know what I'm saying because it's not affecting the story the story is literally still the same all of the other um characters are the same I just don't understand why these it's really like grown ass people like that's mad too like Disney plus do y'all know that Disney plus is a thing right Disney Plus is a thing, therefore you can go on Disney Plus anytime you want to and you can watch the original one, okay? Like, <laughs> what are you so mad for? Like, you would have thought the way how people are reacting, you would have thought that they completely deleted the old one and it just fell from the face of the earth and there's like no way to access the animated version. But y'all can literally go on Disney Plus and watch it whenever the fuck y'all want to. So the fact that there's so much backlash over the way the race swap, which really is not that serious because again, the storyline is still the same. It's just beyond me. Girl, first they said uh, Ariel's black, that's a problem. Then they said her hair isn't red and vibrant enough, that's a problem. Then they said that the movie, uh, basically the aesthetic and the graphics are not vibrant enough and bright enough. First of all, they're under the sea. Have you guys never been to the beach or to a river or any type of body of water at nighttime? Yeah, it gets very dark. So again, this is a live action version. They're going to try to make it more realistic. Like, I just don't understand why there's so much backlash behind this movie. Like, it's a beautiful, the trailer was so beautiful. Like, if you, if you're still complaining after the trailer, child i don't even know what to say to you because you're just miserable and again these are grown ass people that are mad the original came out in 1989 hang it up hang it up like <laughs> which what are you mad about come on now i'm talking about grown ass men in the comments talking shit child anyways besides that I'm telling y'all, the trailer was so beautiful. Holly's voice is so beautiful. She looked so beautiful. Her hair was beautiful. The way that her tail, you know, and her hair was flowing in the water was beautiful. It was beautiful. I loved it from beginning to end. Her and Eric, they were cute together. You know what I'm saying? Her dad, uh, Flounder. Flounder's little voice was so cute. And Sebastian, Sebastian and what's his name what's the bird's name y'all i just had a brain fart anyways all the animal characters looked fine to me i'm not gonna lie they did look a little bit scary but it's not that serious you know what i'm saying they looked like real animals like what did y'all expect for them to look like uh a cartoon it's not a cartoon baby it's a live action thank you because when lion king came out y'all said the same thing basically that the animals look too realistic and they looked nothing nothing like the animation like of course they're not gonna look anything like the animation girl come on now anyways like comment subscribe and make sure you turn on those post notifications let me know how y'all felt about this trailer bye